guys, welcome back to part two of my discussion with Mini Me. So if you haven't been watching the video, please go back and catch up because it's kind of going in sequence. Um, but we were just kind of talking about or getting Imani's thoughts on, you know, being raised through my struggle of it all. Um, and we talked about kind of like middle school and elementary school and those younger years. So now I wanted to touch on, Monty had made a comment that she kind of noticed that I was going through a struggle in like eighth grade or so, when we had to make the move from our house into my mother's house. So now that she's entering high school and definitely aware of it all, I'm curious to hear her feedback as to how she felt going through it herself and how she felt seeing me go through whatever it was I was going through. Well, the first thing that comes to mind, um, well, obviously money was a struggle. So I did ask my mom for money, but I never expected a lot. And I would feel bad when I had to ask her for money. It's not embarrassing, but that's the only word that kind of, I guess, fits really is when like I would want to go out on the weekends and I couldn't because it required money. We didn't have it. And so I feel like in high school, I constantly told people no to a lot of things. Like, I mean, I always made sure, made tried my best to go places. Like I am that type of friend who tries to go out and support you when I can. But even when it's just like little stuff, like if we want to go to the movies or something, I might not be able to because we don't have it this week. So I feel like I told people no a lot because I couldn't go. And I don't know if I ever told them why necessarily. I probably made something else up. Like I never said, oh, I don't have the money. I mean, I might have, but. And then here was a, not a bad thing, but Imani had a circle of friends. And in that circle of friends, she makes number nine. Mm. Seven, eight, eight. or nine. I don't know. Because there's too much pressure. Nine, no, right? it's not nine. And then because of Either that, there's a birthday. There's, it seems like birthdays will always happen. So if you're going to uh, school. My friend group from school, our birthdays are back to back. It starts in mm -hmm. March and ends in August. So there's a birthday. So there's the friends that Even friends Columbo, that aren't in school. Then there's friends call. from like her BFF didn't go to her high school, so then but there was a BFF birthday. Was still birthday. Her birthday was, April. There were things like that. And every time I turn around, between dance and bills and everything else, now there's something going on with a friend. Like, no. So although it wasn't her fault, why you gotta have eight friends? Why can't you have one? First of all. Maybe two. Why you gotta have all these friends? And, and I don't all these friends, so and I think they were still friends from Hill Freeman that you were friends with. Mm, just a young. Anyway, She's every good. time I turned around, there was something. And then again, with her going to school, traveling for school, not all of her friends lived in her neighborhood. So she had to travel to where she had to get to. So that required me taking her, picking her up. You know, if she wasn't taking transportation, so then that's just gas and this. And then if she went out places, she got to get the gift, then she got to eat, then she got to this, then she got to that. So it was just a lot. And she still got them dang eight friends still today, which is fine. And I'm very grateful that she still has it, but she got her own money now. So life is good. But anyway, I'm sorry. Well, I was going to say to my mom, <laughs> but she's like, no, wait till we um, make the video. One thing that was good about my friend group at school was we kind of, not that we were all struggling, but we all kind of had a similar struggle. So it's not like, well, at least I never felt bad around them not having enough money. Like we have all given each other, give, gave him, that's not a word. <laughs> we have all. You know your brother goes, my uncle, my brother, her uncle, gonna say something. He needs to find his What brother. school is she go to? But anyway, we have all gave. It don't sound right. Given. I'm just an end. <laughs> we have all given each other money, or if I didn't have money, they would we, they would give me money. Like we always would look out for each other. But like 
we really all have similar struggles. I don't know because I don't know necessarily. Because some of my friends, most of my friends come from, just people I know, period, come from single parent homes. I have a couple friends whose parents are married and you know they all live together but even then my friends from high school we I felt like I don't get what I don't know what I'm trying to say I think it was that you all had the same type of lifestyle even like, though I say even if it wasn't the same struggle we just all understood stood the struggle yeah. because one thing I commended that you told me later is how when the money was tight on some weeks, y'all will all put your money together and then figure out what everybody can get. Like y'all put your yeah. money into a, a pot. So kind of our, me and my friends went out to eat a lot, especially um, our senior year she because- She eat dinner at home because she's always eating at the school. Yeah, especially my senior year because we all got out early. So we were, we had, we were on our step team. So we would have to come back to school after three o'clock and we would be done at like 12. So we like, let's just go get something to eat. You know, my school's downtown, you know, run around, roam around and then go back to the school. So we will always go to Wendy's because that's what we could all afford. And that's when four for fours were coming out. So we will always go to Wendy's and get a four for four. We knew people that worked there, like it was kind of bad. But I remember it was one time, either one i don't know if it was like one friend didn't have enough or we all didn't really have enough but we had all shared once a four for four meal we all shared one for four one four for four meal so one person would take the burger one person would take the nuggets one person would take the fries like that we had to do, i remember we had to do that before because we didn't have enough but we were hungry because technically when you're done your day at school, you're not technically supposed to stay and linger around in the school. Now, sometimes we did, but sometimes we also was just hungry. We wanted to go out to eat because our lunch would be earlier. But since we're technically done school, we can't go up and get lunch, so we would leave and go get food. That's why we ate out so much because we couldn't go back up and get more food from um, the school. So that's why we went to Wendy's, and Wendy's is cheap, and you know the four for four. You get a lot in that four for four for four dollars of change. I used to know the exact price because you know add tax mm -hmm. but i want to say it was 472 or something but then if i got a strawberry lemonade it was five something but yeah what was you saying <laughs> it was um what was you saying about what you oh i was saying what you were talking about the money and how you couldn't always afford and i said because you had all these friends oh and you had to do the birthday or we would get halal food because halal platters was five dollars including the drink and then they had the nerd to raise it to six but <laughs> We would either get Wendy's or Halal food, and they were right across the street from each other. So, even if one wanted Wendy's and one on one in Halal, we'd go to the Halal truck and then go somebody buy something from Wendy's so we could sit in there. Because, you know, technically, you don't buy nothing, they could kick you out. But if one wanted Wendy's, one wanted Halal food, or some of us did, we'd go there and go to Wendy's. Now, let's go back to just for a second Imani going to school downtown. Okay, so when she researched this high school, Never heard. Well, when she finished, was finishing eighth grade and was, you know, looking to go to high school, because again, we didn't play the whole neighborhood school. No offense to anyone who went to neighborhood schools, yeah. but she had the grades that always allowed her to go to a special admit school. So when she came to me with this school, it was like, what is the school well, and how are you getting there? That wasn't my first. I didn't want to go there. The school okay. I wanted to go to, I didn't get in. Right. Um, but that was basically at the time. The name of my school is Palumbo, and the school I wanted academy, to, but it's a public school, so the academy don't mean nothing. <laughs> the school I wanted to go to was called Central, and they always said like Palumbo was like the mini Central, so that's what made me look into that school because I had never heard of it before until I started doing the application. So that's why I looked into that school, just in case I didn't get into Central, I had that as a backup. I probably applied to more schools, but I don't remember which ones they were. Yeah, and. Going back to being the over-protective well, mom, it's not it was, how are you getting there? But let's just go back to the day she found out she wasn't getting in the Central. So the middle school that she went to, I was part of, I don't know, the PTA or whatever Some, they called it. She was always at the school. Every school I've been to, except my first elementary school that closed down, she has been part of the homeless school staff. I was part of the homeless school staff. Uh, 
I live. Either way, I even still had family members at every school. High school, oh, nobody was there. Nobody was so there. So just she elementary. Was like, no. As soon as she started high school, it was like, you're not joining any home of school. You're not doing any kind of activity at the school. No, you're not doing it. So it was like, okay, I'm gonna respect that. When it came to picking out her high school, it was, okay, the high school that she wanted to go to. And I remember going into the school that day. I don't know if I heard that decision letters were out or anything like that. So I got to the school. I got yeah, the decision letter. There? I don't know. I don't you know if somebody called though. me or if it was coincidental or what. I don't know. But I got there. I, they told me that the letters were in. And I said, can I read it first before she sees it? You did that? I just want to know what type of wow, response that's so fake. I need to get to help her through this process. So when the, I opened up the letter and I saw that she didn't get in, it was like, oh my gosh, how do I get her through this piece right here? And somehow you came into the office, do you remember? And you came yes, into the office. and Ayana came in too. Mm -hmm. Ayana's my best friend. And we wanted to go to the same high school and we both wanted to go to Central. I don't know how they let her out of class, but she came to the office with me and we opened the letter. How about she had the nerve to cry? I didn't even cry. <laughs> She cried because I didn't get in, but I remember I was just like, I was so You did cry. I did? Mm -hmm. No, I don't remember crying. She cried because she didn't get in, and I think it was. Did I cry right then and there? I don't remember crying right in then the and office. There. You did, in the office, I she cried. I don't remember Ayanna crying. And um, <laughs> it was, and one of the, wasn't it just a matter of another school? Remember you had talked about before, or you talked about on your channel, that all the schools you wanted to get into, you didn't get into? Yes. Um, it was mainly middle school and high school, but you know, cause elementary school, you don't pick your own elementary school. You're right. too young to do all that. Your parents do that for you. But high school, I got to pick. And middle school, I got to pick. The middle school I wanted to go to, didn't get in. And at the time, I only wanted to go there because my best friend at that time went to that school. <laughs> I don't have the situation, but I ain't gonna put that child out there like that. What? Okay. It took her a minute to realize it, but I had to let her realize it on her own. And then the high school. <laughs> she wasn't school, a real friend, but it's okay. Yeah, but then yeah, the high school I wanted to get into, I didn't get into. So even though this not, has nothing to do with this, college, Camden was my first choice. And I, I felt, I said in my video, I feel like me getting into those schools that I didn't want to go to led me to where I am today and helped me get into Hampton. That's what I had said. But, I have never gotten to a school that I wanted to get into. So when college came to, I'm like, Lord, please let me get into this school. Okay, but we're not there. Today we're talking about getting into high school. That's a Her not getting into this high school, it was devastating. So once we got over that, and you know, God has a plan. God does things for a reason. We may not ever understand the reason, but just know that God, you know, has you and, you know, we're going to be fine. So then once she came with this school, this academy at Palumbo, it was like, that's downtown, how you getting there? And no, you can't go down there. Absolutely not. Like, it's too far. And again, you know, I said in my other videos, I'm an overprotective mom. So it was just like, now you gotta get on public transportation because grandma's not driving you all the way downtown. Before high school, I've been on public transportation, but not not like that. She's like some like scoop her up and take her away I'm still living. but anyway it was you know this is where i want to go and pretty much there was no other i that mean was there like were the, options I but mean, it was the I second right, second the best second best for school for her to go to so because they think, were number three in the city yeah so that was over the school i wanted to go to originally they were number two and then my school that i went to was number three right and i think that was the same standing like all four years don't ask me now i don't know um but then i think it was a good fit because i feel that imani has always done better with smaller class sizes whereas the high school that she wanted to go to was a large a larger high school and then a lot of friends from middle school went to this high school so i think it was good that she was kind of disconnected from that group so that she could continue to just focus and continue with the good grades well, and everything like that. even before I, well, I don't know, so never mind. But also that's how I felt about middle school. Like although I didn't get into the school that I wanted to go into, I'm glad that I went to the middle school I did go to because I did, well I'm not friends with nobody, but I, my best friend, I still have her. So, and I enjoyed middle school. Middle school was fun. Yeah, that was a good school. Middle school is fun. I just really don't talk school. to nobody anymore just because, you know, we fell off.
I think this school ended up being a fantastic fit for her. Again, she You're has talking about high school. High school. Again, she has this circle of friends that they are all still friends now. And I am so impressed with the friendship that they have. Um, their it's, bond to me is like it's nothing rare I've ever seen. Still be seen. friends with people. Even the fact that I'm still friends with Ayana and how she's the only person I've talked to since middle school. And I had I knew our middle school class was this big. I knew everybody in that class. We were all cool for the most part. And Ayana was the only one that I continued to stay friends with. And then my high school, we all met ninth grade and we're still friends to this day. Right. So I would say that the financial burden of it all was heavy because um, it was kind of like a rebuild for myself once I moved to my mother's house. And again, still trying to make sure Imani led the life that I felt that she should live. Um, still able to do all of her activities and everything like that. And then, um, you know, and also, again, go ahead. Also, um, before we moved here, we were still at my mom's during two years of high school, my grandma. So that travel is different from this travel. So that one was kind of a lot in itself. So how did you feel when we moved out of my mom's house to here? I felt better mainly because of school. I knew I was closer to school. And the transportation would be easier because at my grandma's house, I had to take, well, I got dropped off in the morning at the train station, but coming home, I get on the train, have to wait for this bus, and this bus, it, it just took it, it took its time. It took its time. And the area wasn't a bad area, but it's real like secluded, would you say? Like there's not a lot of people around. So I didn't, I, most times I was out there by myself. So I didn't really enjoy that. And then once I got off that bus, I had to walk at least like five blocks. Mm -hmm. They big enough. <laughs> Especially when you tired, you just want to get home and you just got to do all this traveling. So then to hear her complain about this often, you know, as a mom, it was, I'm doing the best I can. Like we are really trying. Um, I just need you to stick in there and everything like that. And then on the, the one underlying thing that I always taught her in the midst of all of this from as young as she could understand, do not put my business in the street. Do not put our business in the street. And which is why I think with you saying, we don't know if your friends knew about the struggle or what we may have been going through. I feel like a lot of people look at me as if, not that I have it all, but I'm good. And I feel like a lot of people looked at me that way in high school. And I told you, this girl came up to me and thought I had on like this expensive behind outfit. That whole fit was from H&M. And she was just like, oh, you just look so nice. I thought it was expensive or something. And I'm like, what does that even mean? Like, just cause I look nice, that means it's expensive. But even then I feel like a lot of people, I don't know, they never like said these things to me, but I just get that vibe that people think I'm good, we got money, we out here. Not balling, but like, we just, you know, pretty well put on when that wasn't necessarily the case. Right, I taught mine earlier. But like she said, I didn't put her business out. I didn't right. tell people, I mean like, not that I've never talked about it, but. But then also for a long time, I had to teach her there are needs and there are wants. So if ever she asks for something, is it something you need or is it something you want? Cause I'm gonna help you with every need. Every need that you have, I'm gonna help you with it. But the wants. And this is another reason how why important is the want? I don't get why people say I'm spoiled. Mm -hmm. Because not that spoiled necessarily means you're being spoiled with money and gifts, but I feel like that's what people mean when they say that to me. And people say that to me. Because people tell me like, oh, she never hears the word. People think I don't hear the word no. And not to say that I didn't get things that I didn't want. Like I pretty much did. Except for one thing, I'm not gonna bring it up. <laughs> but um, I mainly what was I trying to say? I mainly did get things I wanted, just not when I wanted it. So like my mom didn't necessarily because you said that you didn't like to tell me no. So you wouldn't necessarily tell me no. You just be like not right now, and I would either bring it up again or just forget about it. But yeah, I don't get why people think I'm so spoiled. 
And I think that all the time she would always ask for stuff. And I may not have gotten it at the time that she asked it. Yeah. I may not have even gotten it in the year that she asked it. But she got it. Exactly. At that point, I need a win. <laughs> <laughs> if I felt as though it was still relevant, I made sure she still. But got it. I didn't ask for nothing outrageous, or I I don't feel like I asked for a lot, or nothing like 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 I said, I'm not that type of kid who wants. She didn't ask for anything extraordinary thing. ever. She just she was a, a teenage girl or a, a girl. She was just a child. Just asking for what you know would normally ask for, and and it would probably be clothes or sneakers. That's probably what it was. I did not just buy the sneakers. It was heartfelt. It was definitely heartfelt having to tell her no a lot of times. But and then when we moved into this apartment, now you know you really can't ask me for much because. And I was under the impression, oh, now that we're living on our own again, she must got it like that. Not like that. But, but you were, we must be good. Yeah. And we weren't. Now, now, not that we weren't, but it was like we gotta like live on the line. Like there's really not a lot of extra. It's enough to take care of the bills, and you gonna stay. You know, you will stay in dance. Right. Yeah. You still mm -hmm. stayed in dance. Um. She went on her proms. She went on other people's proms. Um. So she had the, the normal, typical high school experience that I think she should have had. Again, her circle of friends, she did as much, you know, as she wanted to. I don't think, I think as the year wound down, I don't think, or as your senior life, or high school life wound down, I don't think you heard too many news after that. I don't know, but we were, we were doing better. We'll put it like that. So that takes her through her high school years. Anything else you think you want to add to that? And now with all of this financial struggle and oh my gosh, now we're actually doing good. We now have to apply to colleges. And in the back of my mind, how the frickety frick are we going to pay for that? <laughs> no, my gosh. Okay, I'll wait because I have something that I thought that I'll just wait. So stay tuned for that story. So thanks again for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so that you can be notified of all the videos <laughs> that we upload at the time that they are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Alright. <laughs>